heat-related incidents and illnesses in the Palm Springs region since just Friday. They actually predict that the actual impact of the heat on emergency incidents is actually a lot higher than that, too. Martha? Noreen Shaw, thanks so much to you. Let's go overseas now. Europe suffering through an intense heat wave with the highest temperatures ever recorded in some countries. Marcus Moore is in Greece where wildfires have raged for nearly a week outside Athens. Good morning to you, Marcus. Well, good morning, Martha. What's been happening here, in, particularly in southern Europe, is unprecedented. Not only have the records for daily high temperatures been broken in many places, but also for the duration of some of these heat waves. Uh, Spain right now seeing temperatures over 100 degrees. Italy, the same story there. And here in Greece, uh, officials expect this current heat wave to extend to 17 days. That has never happened before. It's been so hot here that famous attractions like the Acropolis have either curtailed their hours or they have shut down completely. Uh, residents and tourists are being urged to hydrate and to stay indoors. And as you know, the hot, dry, windy conditions have been fueling dozens of wildfires across parts of Greece. Several European countries have sent in reinforcements to help Greece try to stay ahead of these fires that have been burning now uh, for nearly an entire week. And right now we know that about 800 firefighters are involved in this fight. There have been mass evacuations on Rose Island, which is in southeastern Greece, where the flames have threatened homes and at least two resort hotels. Martha, uh, they are hoping for a break in the weather to come on Monday, but it won't last long because another heat wave is expected to last for the rest of the next week. Martha. Truly a critical situation. Thank you, Marcus. As the planet records its hottest days, weeks, and months on a record this summer, we want to look at how we got here and what can be done to slow this down, both on land and at sea. Here's ABC's chief meteorologist and climate unit managing 